Tonight we are hearing about the deadly night from June of 2022 from the officers who were involved. The Ohio Attorney General released those officers' interviews with BCI investigators, which were at times emotional. I'm just terrified because my thoughts were if this guy was willing to shoot at us because we were stopping him for a taillight, what, what was he going to do to other people, to other cops? Akron's police chief is standing firm on his decision not to release the names of those eight officers. He says it's based on safety. However, many of those names have surfaced on social media after the attorney general's presentation revealed some of those officers' names. Now, News 5 investigator Tara Morgan, she spoke with a legal expert. And Tara, could a reversal of this decision be beneficial? Well, one expert thinks so, that it could help rebuild community police relationships by knowing more about the officers. We do know in looking what the AG's office released, one officer fired his gun four years ago. By keeping the names from the public, the expert says it sends the wrong message. During Ohio Attorney General Yost's presentation of the Jalen Walker grand jury decision, Slides of Akron police body camera footage revealed several officer names. Accidentally. Regardless, it appears officers who were on the scene the night Walker was killed were released by the AG's office. The AG's office will not comment, and Akron Chief Steve Milet will not reverse his decision, again citing threats, he says, even right before this interview. They have a right to be safe, so does their family, as you do as everybody else. They didn't sign up for that. Case Western Reserve University law professor Michael Benza says it's not unusual on the front end to hold back names, but when it's resolved, that's normally not the case. Really what a message that is a takeaway from saying we're not going to reveal their names is a clear statement by the police department is that we don't trust people when our officers are out there. Benza says it may create a heightened sense of fear and trepidation. I imagine that there will be people that when the blue lights go on behind them, one of the thoughts will be, is this the officer that killed Jalen coming up to my window? It's not just the names, but Benza says people want to know about the officer's career. I think it does a lot to start to heal the system and to build bridges between communities to identify who the officers are um, and what their records are and, and where, where are they in the department. The AG investigative documents include heavily redacted personnel files of eight officers. Five of them started with Akron Police in 2020. The longest serving of the eight was hired in 2016. His record shows this wasn't the first shooting on the job. He fired his gun in November 2019. The Summit County prosecutor ruled the shooting was justified. There may be a legitimate threat issue that they are very concerned about. Um, there's also, I'm sure, a significant amount of doubt as to the legitimacy of their threat assessment. We asked Chief Milet if he would change his mind to calm questions of the public. No. To be direct with you, no. And the reason is um, I'm not going to confirm any name that is going to place any officer in harm's way. A civil lawsuit expected to be filed near the anniversary of Walker's death could change things. They could be naming the officers individually. They would be probably naming the, the Akron Police Department. And one criminologist tells me the chief's concern needs to be weighed against the public right to know in terms of police accountability and transparency, along with agency policy and state law. We are hearing there is a unclassified threat assessment from the FBI to Akron police. I have requested a copy. I'm News 5 investigator Tara Morgan.